night, I'm going to try to attempt to work out this exhaust situation here. So I got to bring the exhaust over, which is like I said, a wider V, and I got to get it out the regular muffler area, which is there. And also, I don't know, I can try to start pulling out this air cleaner system. If I can get it maybe up in here, turn the elbow somehow, and you know, so that's kind of what I'm looking at. Tighten up the front motor mount. I'm going to leave the, the two rear ones loose because I'm going to use it to jack up the idler chain, you know, back there with the bolts. So let's see where I get with this. There's, uh, where's that original box that was over here somewhere? There's a muffler that come on the engine down there. Over here, got my, there's my original muffler there. So we'll see what we can do. All right, you know, watching pawn shop over there. Anyway, sorry about the distraction, but I'm going to cut these flanges off the previous existing uh, 29 horse, I can say previous, but the new 29 horse engine. And I already cut the header up, I guess you want to call it an exhaust pipe header or whatever. Here, cut the flanges off of that, sitting on the ground there. So then I got to figure out a way to open that V up and put it all together and make sure the heights line up inside the uh, Argo. All right, so here's what I got kind of so far here. I'm just setting things roughly in place, but you can see the V on these cylinders a lot wider. I got to make up a couple inches, you know. So I'm just trying to decide, you know, so I'm setting this in place, the uh, existing muffler box and running it out to the outside and just making sure that when I get done with this thing, it's going to fit and, you know, the exhaust be balanced side to side. So what I thought I'd first do is cut here like a semicircle, maybe three quarters of the way through both sides, you know, kind of perpendicular, radially, radially perpendicular to this right at the joint and then bend these open both sides. It'll lower it down. It might point the muffler up a little bit, but I can always, you know, point the muffler back down with a little tail thing or something. So, because that way I can try to keep it balanced and spread it out. So I'll try that first. All right. You know, I slit this open here and I started bending it, flaring it out. But when I do get it down there, it's just a little too low. I'd rather have the height up a little higher because it brings the heat down close to the belt and the clutch and everything. So I, I just think what I'm going to do now is just cut this completely off and add a, add like a one inch spacer on each side. And then I got to connect the flanges. Uh, you know, I just don't like to. It's too much of an angle. It's pointing up. Everything. The system is kind of. By the time I V that out, it goes flat. You know. So I'll see what happens. Well, it's kind of getting a little crazy here. Looks like I'm basically remaking the thing. So this is that little. I don't know what you want to call it. Little collector where it goes out to the muffler. These are the little header pipes here. That I got to cut and space them out put flanges back on them so I got a muffler shop going here man a whole exhaust fabrication shop all right so what I did is I kind of marked these things front and rear chopped it all up cut them off there but what I've been doing is uh, I, I put this little piece of angle across here and wired up that collector so I just hold it roughly in a position you now so I can adjust the wire up and down and I'm just going to tack it in place but it looks like, see, now I'm getting pretty close, you know, you know, like this, uh, you know, the front and the rear, just setting them up like that, and then I'll tack it lightly and then pull it out, wall it, and check it again and make sure I got it, and then, you know, so I'm getting closer. All right, here's what I got going here. So I'm just tacking it in place first a little bit, right, real carefully, then I'm going to pull it out, you know, both sides and wall it out good and paint it with some high heat. So I'm getting closer. It kind of is a tedious process, but you just work it and grind it and shape it and make sure you try to get the planes correct, you know, when you're cutting these tubes, you know, try to get it, you know, if you've got one cut, you know, 20, 30 degrees off the center line, you just try to make the other one the same way and, I don't know, just working it, I guess. So, getting closer, getting closer should be pretty soon here. Okay, well, yeah, when I tipped upside down now. Some of these, you, you got to do some fill welding, so some of these little slivers that I had, I can put in place to help me fill it, so, you know, if you're not good at filling, you know, maybe you got to practice a little bit on some different things, but, so anyways, I'm going to have to weld the back side and take my time, you know, in different positions, let it cool and double check it, and pretty soon I should have this. 
that one there I'm filling. Like I said, this one over here is a little bit too big, so I just took a piece of the little pie shape cut out of the manifold and using it on that side. That side there is not bad, so I just, you know, take my time and just fill it. There it is. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll work. It's just like the other one, right? Just a little bit wider. So just salvage the flanges and the parts and re-weld it. So I'll paint it up, put it in. Alright. The exhaust is in there. I just got to put the bolt back in the collector flange there and a couple of shields that can top and bottom of the button. That's back in. Now this, I took the bracket off that was right here. This was sitting there because it won't go there. The hood won't close. So it looks like this thing may fit over here, kind of on an angle here. And this... See this elbow here? It looks like it will turn the face this way, you know, which is the inlet here for the fuel injector and uh, throttle body or whatever you want to call it, right? So I think this will turn nine, you know, 180 degrees that way. So then maybe I can fab up that bracket so this can actually sit up a nice height to get some cool air coming into it. So anyways, those are kind of where, where it's going a little bit. So I'm not getting tired tonight, so I'm going to call it a day.